All right, all right. What's up, people, man? Let me get my thoughts on the Regis Prograis versus uh, Devin Haney uh, press conference today. And there's a lot of ignorance in this shit, man. But the crazy part is the guy who was doing the speaking on behalf of Regis was not his head coach. It wasn't even a boxing coach. And I'm not sure if this guy is really just the strength and conditioning coach. Because it struck me when he was speaking about his team not being there, and he brought one coach and he spoke about the coach having this plan that they were going to have to go in there and whoop Devin Haney's ass. I'm like, wait, why are you talking about the uh, another coach's plan? Ain't you the coach? And the Devin's like, man, get this strength and condition coach to fuck up out of here. It's like, man, what the hell? So what the hell is Regis trainer doing? Or does Regis, well, yeah, Regis got to have a trainer if this strength and conditioning guy brought him up. But where the hell is Regis' coach? Does he have another fight he's working with? This is a big fight for Regis. Why ain't the coach present for this shit? So right now, that's kind of striking right there. But going into like uh, uh, the address of the ignorance, the back and forth, kind of disrespect, that's kind of what you want in a press conference, man. You want things to get a little bit testy, back and forth. Uh, it don't always have to be because of these black fires that they have to talk this way. But if anybody's going to talk any kind of way in any sport, it's going to be in the sport of boxing. I mean, you, you don't need to soften the sport up. I mean, if this is the way that these people speak organically, you don't got to do this shit to sell a fight. But if this is what they're speaking like because of the tension between them or it can be nervousness from the trainer. He ain't never been in this type of setting. It's a big event for him. And maybe it's got him a little bit on edge. But uh, that could be possibly what it is. But I thought the press conference was kind of good. I thought the face-off, they need to bring some security in to stand between these uh, uh, two. Because I thought somebody was going to end up throwing the blows, especially the coach or someone. I thought Devin was going to have to swing on him or something. But throughout it, Regis didn't speak much. He didn't want to say much. This strength and conditioning guy really took, took advantage of the moment to kind of bring light to himself. And I think Regis was kind of uh, annoyed with the guy. I think Regis was really annoyed with this uh, with this guy that he brought out here uh, with him. But uh, that's all I got, folks. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.